the famous soldat. Is it cuisine bag? Cousin. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna go shopping with you guys. I'm gonna go into Louis Vuitton to pick up a couple of presents and also try on some of the newer bags that I haven't seen in person yet. So I am hoping to show you a few things that I try on. Also, I do need some casual shoes. I literally wore my Chanel Espadrilles, the black ones, to death and they seriously need a replacement. I'm wearing them today. I'm gonna show you what happened to my Espadrilles. They're not too bad, but these are the ones that I always wear. But can you see at the front, I'm not sure if you can tell. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. But see the wicker bits? They really started sticking out a lot. So in person, they don't actually look all that smart anymore. Yeah, I'm hoping to find a replacement for these as well. So I'm going to take you guys shoe shopping as well. But anyways, before I start walking into the shops, I'm going to show you the bag that I'm carrying today. So in my passenger seat is my new favorite casual bag, the Chanel 19 in the small black goat skin. I've been loving this bag. It is so comfortable to wear, fits a ton and still looks really, really edgy and fashionable. So that is what I'm carrying today. And let's head into the shops now. Okay, we're just heading in now. I just wanted to show you what a beautiful, beautiful day it is. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Just about to head in. Oh my gosh. This is on the outside of David Jones. This is the new By the Pool collection. This on the go is super cute, Byron Bay. It's the one that says Bondi Beach as well. on some clothes I've had to mute and dub over the video because there was some background music and I don't want to be copyrighted so here we are okay try it on this top it was so cute with the subtle monogram on the sleeves the material was like a bit of a wetsuit material very flattering on but it was a little bit restrictive and then this Top I absolutely love. Look at those button details, the gold fleur de lis. And then on the side, there's a little buckle detail as well, making this tee really cute. And I can cinch in the waist. A very plain, simple, but classic looking top. This is part of the By the Pool collection in the beautiful sunshiny yellow colorway. It comes in the blue colorway as well. It is a really cute top with the gold chain detail at the front there. Looks really nice tucked in to your bottom. I think it'll look really cute with a skirt as well. Tried on this three quarter bell sleeve button up shirt as well. Very classic Louis Vuitton. Cute with that skirt. Loving the red pop of color, the Capucines bag. And that is a Capucines mini in black. Looks perfect with this outfit as well. How cute is the mini size? The red one was a BB size, but this mini is just on another level. Cute, obsessed. And that is the shirt with my jeans. 
And this is the same t-shirt in the white that I tried earlier, but in the black, I asked for the black one as well, just because I think it'll be easier to take care of. Same buckle detail on the side, so cute. Now we're trying on some bags. This is the famous Kusan bag in the silver. It's always sold out, but the store happened to have one in the silver. This is in the PM, the small size, with the silver chain and the statement strap. Love the statement strap. It's really cool. Crossbody is really well as well. The strap length is adjustable, so I guess I could make it longer. Now, this is a dress that I tried on. I absolutely just love. It is in the navy color, so well fitted with the cute gold details as well. And there is the Capucines Mini in the red this time. Doesn't it look stunning with navy? Now, trying on the new size on the go, the smaller size in the new Raphael style. It is really, really nice. Love how they've done the sides with the tan leather, but too much logo for me. It's personally a little bit too loud. Now, trying on another navy dress. Wasn't a fan of this one. This one looks a little bit too grandma in my opinion. Now we're trying on some shoes. I absolutely fell in love with these. My sales associate brought these out for me when I was trying on the dresses and I've just fallen in love that I'm trying them on. Look how nice they look, even with jeans. You can definitely dress them up as well. Now trying on some more bags. This bag is one of their newer styles as well. Love that neutral color. And the Scala pouch. I finally got to have a look in person. And I also checked out the Neo Noe in the new mini size. I think this is the BB Neo Noe in the on front leather. Isn't this off-white color absolutely gorgeous with the statement strap as well? Also has a top handle, making it really convenient. Oh, I'm obsessed with white bags as you guys know. I couldn't take my eyes off this one. I mean, look at it. And the strap makes it so cool also love the caramel color. This color is just stunning. Such a fun color, but still quite neutral. The color is almost like a cross between a tan brown and a mustard yellow. Just a really fun pop of color without being too much. And I tried the exact same color in the new twist with the top handle. Not a huge fan of the twist, but still a cute bag. And my essay suggested this be my next purchase kind of joking, but kind of not. Um, it is a jewelry box in the trunks line. Very true to Louis Vuitton heritage. Love the corners. And this one is actually reasonably priced if you compare it to something like the Petite Mal for the size that it is. Um, it's 6,900 or so. Also tried on some fine jewelry. These studs are so cute, a bit blurry, but it's so dainty. Guys, I didn't get to vlog much more after Louis Vuitton since I spent so much time in there. As you can see in my back seat, I did buy a couple of items. So I'm going to show you them very soon. I did go to Chanel to check out shoes to replace my black espadrilles with, but all of the styles were kind of samey, samey. I nothing really stood out to me so i'm just gonna wait until something comes out that really steals my heart because i guess i have a bit more life left in those espadrilles i realized when i was showing them up close on the camera they didn't look too bad so i'm gonna try and get a little bit more time out of them i also wanted to do a quick reminder that my chanel giveaway with the purse affair so the chanel card holder and the hand cream giveaway is still going there's another week for you to enter so if you haven't entered already head over to my instagram or the purse affair Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been having trouble with Instagram. So my account seems to be restricted for some reason. I can't like anyone's posts or engage with any content. I can still post plain photos, but I can't tag anyone. I can't add a caption to my posts and I can't even do stories with a tag or anything like that. So it's been very frustrating. I've been reporting to Instagram, but nothing's been done. Apparently it's, um, you know, AI receiving these requests. So I don't even know when it's going to be resolved. I may have to even resort to making a new account and start from scratch. I don't know. So it's been stressing me out a little bit. I hope it will be restored to full functionality soon. So fingers crossed. Anyway, if you haven't entered the Chanel giveaway yet, head over to that post. The entry criteria is super simple. Go back to my giveaway post and it's got all of the instructions in the caption because that was posted before my account was restricted. 
and i was planning on unboxing my goodies tonight but something's come up and i don't think i'll have time to film the unboxing portion before this video is due to go live i work for a living so i can't dedicate all of my days to youtube filming so i might have to show you what i got in my next week's video so stay tuned for that thank you so much for coming shopping with me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you have any guesses as to what you think i picked up from louis vuitton leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and i can't wait to see you again soon in my next video bye guys